Hey guys, it's Emmy here. So today I'm going to be telling you the adventure rank you need to unlock a cooperative play in Genshin Impact. Um, but let's go! So if you didn't know, Genshin Impact has an overall sort of level system. So if you press the escape bar on your keyboard, uh, it'll come up with this tab and as you can see, adventure rank here. Now as you can see, I'm adventure rank 16, which adventure rank 16 is actually the rank uh, you need to be able to uh, co-op uh, co mode. As you can see, there's a little button where I can play with friends, um, which is a great way because you can play different quests with them and it will make sort of defeating certain bosses easier uh, if you have other people with you. Now the faster you upgrade your adventure rank, uh, the quicker you can unlock new quests, um, new adventurer guild uh, sort of expeditions uh, and that sort of thing and overall just making your character stronger and being able to do more things. So the way to actually level up uh, your adventure rank uh, is you can complete daily commissions at the Adventurers Guild stand, uh, hunt bosses, clear domains, um, you can have a look at your Adventurers Handbook um, uh, to gain sort of experience from it, um, you can complete quests uh, and explore the map uh, by sort of expanding your map, uh, since when you first start your map will be very small, you have to go around um, and clearing all the statues uh, to be able to see what you're actually looking at. And as well, every time you upgrade your adventure rank, uh, the game will tell you uh, just a few other ways uh, you can uh, gain your adventure rank experience, which is really helpful. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, a subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I do a video. And comment down below what you would like to see next, and if you any have any other videos you'd like me to do. Um, but yeah, see you later. Bye!